You already know what the name is, man. My name is JB Demogo, and this is MMTV. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so right now. Today, it is sad, but I'm not surprised. Before I even go further, I need you to listen to Black Rasta. Someone that in the future, someone may look at him as a legend, legendary radio presenter or a reggae, dan reggae artist. Listen to what he has to say about the collaboration Sarkodie did with Bob Marley. What Sarkodie did, my brother, my sister, is nothing but this desecration of the holy music of Bob Marley. Should I go deeper? It's like a king has been buried and you go and dig him up, steal his gold and diamonds that he's been buried with, you renate right into the grave and walk away laughing like a madman on heat. Hear me now. Listen. It hurts me so much. I decided never to talk about this issue. But trust me, Sir Cordier allowed himself to be used to desecrate the legacy of Bob Marley. What is special about what Sir Cordier did? The one-way rap which has been on all these years. What Sarkodia does is nothing but one-way rap. And people are not ready to speak the truth. When Bob Marley was alive, what did he say about his, his music? He said, and I quote, You can't love me music if you love Barry White music. Whew. Look, how can someone from Ghana who is a radio presenter disrespect his fellow men because of the love he has for Bob Marley. Sir Akonye collaborating with Bob Marley is good for the country. It's serving a good purpose. I know you have your own understanding of reggae music. I don't know much about reggae. But you have good understanding of reggae music. But sometimes, as a sensible man, you should know that this collaboration goes to serve a greater purpose. Which is the country is going to benefit from. So it is not everything that you have to make a comment about. If the family of Bob Marley have, has decided to put Sarkodie on this track, they know why they chose Sarkodie. They know the angle. They know what they are trying to do. They are trying to tap into the new generation. So for you to spend this much time on radio station, disrespecting, undermining, bashing Sarkodie for the collaboration, I'm disappointed in you. And also bashing Bob Marley's estate. You see, people like you always spewing negativity just to be relevant. I swear you have people will know you for neg more negativity than even the music that you did or the radio work that you, do you are doing. And is that the legacy that you want to leave? Like I said, you may have a good reason why you are saying what you are saying. That you feel like Bob Marley's music is more meaningful. Indirectly saying that Sarkozy's music makes no sense. But what purpose does it serve? What good does it serve to bring another man down? Ghana, we need to change our attitude. But I don't blame you. You are not a successful musician. If you were, you wouldn't be talking anyhow. How often do you hear that Lumba come out 
to undermine any new generation, the new artists? How, how often does he come out? How often do you hear Kojentri disrespecting a new act? All the people who were successful in music don't say much. Don't talk much. I know you are a radio presenter. You talk all right. But come on. Bro, this is not good. This is not good. This is your fellow countryman. And you have disrespected him, disrespected his career. Let's change our attitude, Ghanaians. Or else this country, the entertainment sector, will never go anywhere. The name is JB Dumogo. Please subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day. Peace.